so in this episode we're going to talk about uh, shapes and the pathfinder tools so let's just jump in i'm going to go ahead and hit command shift h um, this is actually my preferred way of working i hide the artboard uh, that way it's just a blank canvas um, for some reason the gray background throws me off you can actually change that if you go to preferences i think general let's see user interface so I can uh, change the interface to be um, white, and I can actually change the canvas to be white, but it still throws me off a little bit. I prefer the uh, the gray interface, and um, hmm, actually I'm just gonna select white. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. I dig that. Anyway, let's go ahead and hide that. So let's talk about shapes. So I'm gonna go over to the tools panel. If I click on that, you can click and. Uh, pull that whole panel out. So the shapes that you have access to are the rectangle tool. If you hold shift while you drag out, uh, you can constrain the proportions of this, or if you don't hold shift, you can draw whatever you want. If you need something specific, you can go up to the shape uh, dimensions up here. Uh, say I want like a 500 by um, 175 pixel box. That will give you exactly what you need. Let's delete that. I also have the rounded rectangle tool. Uh, this one's super cool and super handy. Again, you can hold shift or draw whatever you want. Uh, the fun and awesome thing about this is if we zoom in a little bit, right now, if I hit V and select it, and then I hit A to pull up the direct select tool, uh, that gives me options to uh, change the corner radius on these. So these little circles, if I click and drag out or in, I can get the exact uh, corner radius that I want, or I can go up here to the uh, application bar and say I want like four pixels on each of these, which is super handy. And then if I grab the direct select tool, grab an anchor point, I can manipulate just one at a time. Or if I hit one and select like two anchor points, I can uh, do two at a time. It's very flexible in what you need, which is uh, super cool. You can create a lot of like um, different shapes and get like different stuff uh, to create your illustrations uh, using the corners, which is super handy. Next, we have the circle or ellipse tool. Shortcut for that is L. You can hold it, hold shift for a perfect circle or let go and create whatever you want. Next is the polygon tool. You can go like that and draw uh, perfect shape with shift or do whatever you'd like. Um, if you grab that and click, uh, this is true for any of the shapes. If you just click on the artboard, uh, you have different options. So for example, the ellipse tool, I'll just click. I can define the width and the height if I want, but this you can choose how many sides you want. The other cool thing is uh, if you click and drag, you can just use the arrows up or the arrows down to get exactly what you're looking for. So for example, if I want a triangle, that's an easy way to do it. Then there's the star tool. Same as the polygon, you can select how many points you want. So you can go up and down to get exactly what you're looking for, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you hold shift, it will constrain it, the orientation as well as the uh, sizing. All right, and then the last one is uh, a lens or a flare tool. And you can click and drag out to create a lens flare. Honestly, I have never actually used this one. Um, I don't actually use it for any of the style illustrations that I want, but if uh, that is something that you're into, you can uh, definitely play around with that. So the amazing thing about shapes plus Pathfinder tools in Adobe Illustrator is that you can create uh, almost anything using only simple shapes. Uh, so for example, say like I wanted to create an avatar or like a profile you know how on Facebook they have that like uh, default profile image that's the outline of the character. Um, so for example, like I could hit L and create a little uh, head shape. Um, it could be a perfect circle, it could be not. Then I could hit M, go up to this anchor point. If you hold option while you're dragging out, it'll drag out from the middle instead of from the corner, which is pretty cool. So like I could create a little neck Hit L again, uh, create some like little ears, drag that one over here. I could select all of these and go up to the Pathfinder and unite those. Then I could create a couple eyeballs. Let's see if I center that and then actually 
copy and paste that um, directly in front. I can move one, two, three, one, two, three. That way it's like perfectly even. And then if I create another one, hit L and I'm gonna hit M. I can select both of these and um, subtract it. So you can create like a very simple head shape and say I want like different corner radius on these, I can grab those anchor points and move those out. Obviously this is super simple and a super generic example, but when you combine shapes with the Pathfinder tool, there's quite a bit you can do. And we'll actually be using the shapes a lot in the uh, demo at the end of this course, where we do create uh, a little illustration uh, to show you the full power that uh, Adobe Illustrator has with just these very few tools. So, and then we have the Pathfinder options. So. If you hover over them, you get a little tool tip saying what they do. So this one is Unite, uh, which obviously combines the shapes. This one subtracts the front shape uh, from the bottom shape. Uh, this one intersects them. So for example, say we have two shapes and uh, they're overlapping. If we do that, it will um, cut out anything but the intersection, which is pretty handy. This next one, if I undo that, click that, it will do the opposite and cut out the intersection. Then down here, there's divide, which basically just cuts it up into different pieces. Now you can interact with those uh, however you'd like. This next one is trim. So if you click that, uh, what the trim does is it removes part of the field that is hidden. Uh, so you can see it uh, combined uh, the overlapping part. So this shape uh, is now that bigger section because it was overlapping. Um, and this one is subtracted out from under it. So what Merge does is it removes any of the filled part of the object that is hidden. Um, and I believe it does it based on colors. So I'm gonna change this color, send that to the back. So if I select both of these and hit Merge, um, it subtracts that little shape from that one. If I undo that, uh, this last one, or this next one is Crop. So if I hit Crop, uh, that crops out the outer section from the inside. Undo that. This one is outline. So you can see that this has no fill anymore um, and it only has the, uh, the outline of that object. Um, honestly, I rarely ever use outline. Um, I actually really rarely ever use most of the bottom ones. Um, mostly stick to the shape modes, but uh, the Pathfinder ones do come in handy from time to time. And then the final one, so if I undo that and I select these, um, if I hit minus back, basically it will subtract um, the back shape from the front. So there is quite a bit you can do using only simple shapes and the Pathfinder tools. But yeah, that is all for this video. I would highly recommend uh, jumping into Illustrator and playing with the shapes and the Pathfinder and try to create different objects. Maybe you could create a character or uh, create like an iPhone or something, or whatever you may have lying around your desk or workspace. But yeah, the more you use this, the easier it will become, and you will realize how powerful these uh, tools are. But yeah, that is all for this video.